So I've been off YouTube for a few months now and I wish I could say it was because I was resting and relaxing, but no, I've been getting a lot of things done behind the scenes like getting the apple trees planted, raised beds, garlic planted, nasturtium, chickpeas, Japanese lettuce, a lot of things behind the scenes that I've just been gradually getting along with. The tomatoes, chopping all the wood for winter, but now I wanted to move back towards something in the house. For the moment, I've been making do with my vanity, with this DIY vanity where I took an ottoman seat and made it into a bit of a temporary DIY vanity. And I always knew it was going to be temporary and fine, you could look at it and think, well, why didn't you just wait till you got a vanity? I just needed something just for my own mental sanity that was going to work in between until I got something a bit more permanent, which I finally found on Facebook Market place and as much as I love Facebook marketplace part of the problem is is that it is a waiting game it takes a long time to find something that works for you but eventually I did the whole desk mirror included cost 50 quid but I didn't like the mirror it was just too big and I want something which is going to slot really nicely into the corner and because it had this big bulky drawer underneath it didn't really work so I sold it got 20 pounds for that so in total the desk only cost me 30 once everything was sanded down, I soaked the entire top of the worktop. I didn't want to put this straight onto the dry wood, well, reconstituted wood, because I found that when I've done that in the past, if the wood is very, very dry, it just sucks that color in so quickly, you kind of end up with these brush marks, and I didn't really want that. I did make the mistake of not swiping in the same direction once I use the wax later on and as you'll be able to see in a moment there's kind of these brush marks on the left hand side you can see where I started off realized my mistake but at that point it was done I don't mind too much because I didn't do that with a stain if I'd done that with a stain it would have been a lot more noticeable with a stain having the whole surface wet before I did that allowed me to gradually build up the color very very nicely but it's not a mistake that I'm too bothered about to be honest and I'm so happy to actually have a dressing table I just don't care this is this is luxury as far as I'm concerned next part was the details this is the same paint that I used on the stairs it's a new pot just because I've gone through a whole pot of this already and that's the friendship paint in cream dream it's slightly lighter than the current shade of the desk and yes my son decided to help me during this process so I'm going to be gradually adding little details onto it for example on this little filigree pattern I added a little bit of cream dream around the edges I also added some around the edges of the drawers and what I'm quite tempted to do at some point Point is maybe add some detail patterning on the corner of the drawers I'm not sure yet but I just want to take the whole process very very slowly the last thing I want to do is rush in with a impulsive idea make something that I hate and then have to spend four times longer removing it I'd rather just do this much more slowly think about it and end up with something that I've really thought through and I enjoy looking at And that's where I'm going to leave the desk for today. I am going to start working on the drawers next. I've got a different drawer for different categories. So one is a jewellery drawer, which you can see is a mess. One is going to be a skincare drawer, which I'm still putting together. One for hair care, you get the picture. And I'm going to start making dividers and organise these beautifully. So those are my next projects. But for the moment, I have a dressing table and I'm very, very happy about it. Mm -hmm.